Let's take a look at the Zcam app. Hey, welcome to Laticam Studio. My name is Damus, AKA Pro X, and this is your place to be for videography. And it's been a while since I dropped a video, but I keep seeing new subscribers. So I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you and I see you. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel and put on the notification bell so you stay up to date with my latest videos. So as you know, the Zcam got no external monitor by itself or no monitor to watch your footage on. And it has a small monitor, but it's too hard to pull focus or do anything with it. So you need an external monitor. And when I first got the Zcam, I used my Swift CM55C as an external monitor hooked it up on the HDMI and I had nice footage and I was satisfied for a while because I wanted to use the Wi-Fi but when I hook, uh, tried the connection uh, with the Wi-Fi it wasn't that great at first but after the last update from Zcam uh, they said they improved the Wi-Fi so I started to use my smartphone as a monitor and after a lot of testing and diving into the app I found out that it was a really nice way to go because uh, it has a lot of advantages uh, using your smartphone and also of course some cons but uh, we're going to dive into that later. I did some shoots with my smartphone as an external monitor and it's the only monitor I use right now. But I must say the connection is really solid and I had no issues whatsoever on set even with a lot of people on set with uh, cell phones uh, turned on so I had no interference. And I could also connect two extra smartphones and I read somewhere that it goes up to four but uh, I got it up to three monitors so it worked for me but it had some pros and cons so let's dive into that. So first of all let me show you how to connect your smartphone to your Zcam. It's really easy uh, once it's connected and you can just uh, go to the Wi-Fi and uh, reconnect it anytime. So, Let's start off at the beginning. First of all, make sure your Zcam Wi-Fi is turned on. You go into the settings in the menu, go to the Wi-Fi option and turn it on. So the Zcam is visible as a Wi-Fi connection. So next go to your phone and go to your Wi-Fi connection. Look for the Zcam Wi-Fi and then connect it to the Zcam and wait for the connection to show up. And once it's connected, go to the Zcam app and there you can find the three options to choose from. The SSP, uh, Live Control or the Gallery. Of course, we go for the Live Control. And that's where the screen pops up and you have a connection with your phone. So as you can see, you can uh, uh, adjust all different settings, everything that's possible on the Zcam. Uh, menu is also available in the app so uh, you can change your ISO, you can change your shutter speed, um, you can also do your uh, focus peaking uh, etc. So everything you need is right here in the app and that's why I love working with the app because it has everything uh, I need to adjust the settings and it's Wi-Fi so I can have the monitor right here next to me and I'm recording on the Zcam right now so as you can see the lagging is also minimal of course it got some lagging but for a shooting it's no problem so you can change every setting in the app from ISO to shutter speed white balance uh, you can change the the frames per second the VFR uh, the image uh, profile etc everything you have on the Zcam menu you can find in the app so I'm not going to dive too deep into the app so you just find out for yourself what works for you and uh, how you can make it work for yourself so I had some productions where I used my smartphone as an external monitor with the Zcam app and I found some pros and some cons and of course it's uh, important that you make it work for yourself but let me tell you some pros and cons so you can take it in consideration if you want to work with your smartphone as an external monitor or not so first pro I want to talk about is of course the wireless connection. If you see my previous videos, I don't like wires. I love to have everything wireless. Of course that comes with some consequences like uh, interference from other Wi-Fi connections etc etc. 
I used my smartphone as the, my external monitor at some productions and I had no issues with the Wi-Fi connection. Everything was solid. Uh, there were a lot of people on set and they all had their cell phones uh, with Wi-Fi connected uh, somewhere. And I had no issues with the wireless connection. And the nice thing about being wireless is that you can just take your monitor and uh, just hold it anywhere so people can see what you do. You can just change settings while you're on screen or while you're doing the set uh, from a distance. You can just change the settings and uh, yeah, put your monitor somewhere else or that's the, the nice thing about wireless. I like things wireless so it works for me. Next pro is of course the weight uh, because my monitor with the MPF battery is much heavier than just my smartphone. It's almost double the weight so by taking this one away uh, and just using the smartphone it's also nice for my gimbal setup uh, it takes a bit of the weight off i can handle it a bit more weight is also a big pro and um, yeah just having a smartphone it's small it's light it's thin nowadays all smartphones are thin so that's another big pro and uh, also it's easy to carry around because uh, yeah you can just put your smartphone anywhere in your bag or uh, in your pocket or whatever and it's always handy to have with you so the weight uh, it makes a big difference uh, that few hundred grams makes a big difference on a big setup and that's why I also love to use the Zcam app with the smartphone because yeah it's much easier to carry around and also a pro is of course the controls you have within the Zcam app as I said earlier you can control everything from your ISO shutter speed white balance to uh, everything in the menu your audio codec settings whatever it's all in the app so you don't need to go into your camera anymore everything is on the app and that's why I like the control option it has and also if you saw my previous video I found a way to connect it to my uh, handheld ring and I uh, found a way to remotely control the Zcam wireless so that's also a big pro and uh, I like the way you can connect multiple smartphones to the app so to have everything in control in the app uh, makes a big difference than uh, looking into the tiny screen of the Zcam and try to adjust things now you can just look at the smartphone screen and have a touch screen also because that's also a pro everything is touch screen so you can just uh, put your settings the right way press record and ready to go and of course it's not all good so let's talk about some cons uh, the first con I have is uh, actually the same thing I uh, left you with uh, that's the control options because it can take up to uh, four smartphones uh, on one Wi-Fi connection I read somewhere. I came up to three. My phone, uh, the director's phone and a friend of mine wanted to see the footage. So we were connected to the Zcam and it worked. Uh, they had no lagging, they had no glitches or whatever. So that worked. But the thing you need to think about is because uh, if you are the main smartphone with the Zcam app, you have the controls and the other uh, people uh, they see the image and but they have no option to press record or whatever but when you turn off your phone to switch lenses uh, or whatever and um, the control automatically goes to another smartphone so that's a big con because i was on set and um, i had to switch my lens but uh, the director was busy and uh, my friend also and so i switched my lens and i tried to go back into the app and I saw that my control were gone and I asked them uh, hey can I see your smartphone and I saw the controls at uh, somebody else so so everybody had to exit the app and I had to reconnect again and after me they could reconnect so it was a whole hassle and uh, the actors were waiting the artists were waiting so that could be something to think about if you want to share your screen is it really necessary or is it just someone who wants to see what you're doing or is it really the director or somebody important that needs to see the footage so take that in mind if it's not necessary just keep the app uh, just keep one smartphone connected to the Zcam and use that as your external monitor 
And of course, it's a handy option that you can uh, do multiple smartphones on one connection. But if it's not necessary, I wouldn't recommend it. But it works. Also a con or a bit of a con, something you have to take in mind is of course the battery life of your cell phone. Some smartphones go all day long and some smartphones have less uh, battery because a lot of apps are open or running in the background. Uh, which take a lot of batteries and if you use it as a monitor and it's on all the time then it takes up a lot of batteries so keep in mind that if your battery of your smartphone is gone then you have to recharge it and you have no external monitor so or you can uh, take your old external monitor with you or maybe you have another smartphone you can use while uh, the other one is charging and I have my S10 I use as a dedicated smartphone external monitor and I have my S21 Samsung uh, I use as my phone and um, when the S10 is, uh, is uh, recharging I can use my S21 as a backup but I'd rather not because the S21 is my real phone where I call people and WhatsApp and etc and the S10 is just dedicated to be in an external monitor. So it takes a lot longer before that battery is gone. But still, I had it at my last shoot. The shoot was a little bit longer than expected and my battery was at 10%. So it, it shouldn't be a few hours longer um, because then I had no external monitor. Well, I always take my uh, switch with me uh, just in case. So keep in mind that once your battery of your smartphone is gone and you have no external monitor, that's a problem. So also something that I found out is that uh, the audio meter, the audio meter level is not working on the Zcam app when you're recording uh, internal in your Zcam. So it shows up on the Zcam, but in the app, I couldn't find it. I sent out some messages. I said, hey, where's the audio level? I can't find it, this and that. And somebody said to me, uh, because you record internal, it shows up on the Zcam, but it doesn't show up on the app. So keep that in mind. If you're recording audio, then put the settings on the Zcam or you just use an external monitor with HDMI so you can see it in screen if that's important to you. But I just set the audio level on the Zcam and I tested a few times, so that should be good. And keep in mind that it's not on the Zcam app and I hope they fix it because that would be a nice option if you can just monitor the audio level on your Zcam app. So of course it got some pros, it got some cons and the pros weigh more than the cons so I would recommend using the Zcam app and it made my life much easier because I love things wireless and uh, the Zcam app is the perfect solution to have everything wireless and everything that's in the Zcam, every setting is also in that well almost every setting is also in the zcam app so i use it from now on that's uh, the smartphone is my external monitor with every con i keep in mind and i just make things work for me and that's also the most important things and if you see that things don't work you just make it work and make it work for you so if you have any other experiences or uh questions about the zcam app um uh well known with the Zcam app uh, in these last few productions so if you have any questions or just want to say something leave it down below in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe of course and i see you next time peace